why are there no photos of nighttime on the surface of Mars captured by the rover? Yeah, th there's one right here. Do I need to explain it? Because I, knowing this group, I probably will have to. Holy guacamole, what a spicy cantonale. Welcome back to... Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I can't... I was trying to think of a word that rhymed with guacamole and I couldn't think of something in time, so I just, I, I just said cantonale. It's, it's not even a word. It's, it's not even a word! Welcome back to MK! My name is Jack, and like our gracious gods that are the tortoises, I have fallen on my back. Welcome to being complicit witnesses to the murdering of people on the internet. It's r slash murdered by words time, so just sit back and relax and shut up. Watch video now! I just came to chat. Yeah, but I need more money. Well, where do you live? Napoli? Mm, you can help me? Sure I can. Just go into this website and there you go. Meanwhile, a typical example of someone losing their patience trying to sell something online. How long have you owned this machine? Thanks. Less than two weeks. I want to bid on this iPad, but you sound dodge. And you sound like someone I wouldn't want to be stuck in a broken elevator with. Really appreciate your incredibly valuable opinion, though. Your iPad sounds dodge. You, you literally said a minute ago that you want to bid on it. Good job. So are you dumping this machine because it's Dodge coin? Okay, so here's the thing. Either I am totally clean and I tell you it's not Dodge, or I am lying and I tell you it's not Dodge. What? What, what information were you hoping to gain from this? I'm just going to go out on a limb and assume you weren't burdened with an overabundance of education. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of kids, but if a child looks at me, then you bet I'm going to smile back at them. <laughs> Kids deserve to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore, okay? But the world is not kind or safe. Then freaking do your part to make it that way! I just did a mini Euro trip and was like shocked at what Paris is really like. Oh, what the frick happened to Paris? Every public area is filthy, polluted with litter, and there are intimidating adult males loitering. I did not feel safe taking the metro, they do not speak French or English. What the frick? That was disappointing and I regret wasting time in Paris. So how did you manage to do that? Most European countries don't really allow international travel right now. Ooh, someone got caught out trying to make us utterly racist. Post. I have an unpopular opinion. I'm anti-vax, but I don't believe vaccines cause autism or don't work. I'm anti-vax because I believe disease is here for a reason. Population control. Plus, we're just creating superbugs. Nothing says a mother's love better than letting your kids die in the name of population control. Here's one that we can be certain will definitely support our cause. Masks are toxic to our health. For some reason, this makes me have bedroom eyes. I, I think I have a fetish for poisoning myself. So you aren't meant to eat them, but uh, yeah. Taxation is theft and the military keeps us safe. Get over it. Did you just advocate for the military and denounce taxation in the same breath? Like... Do you think the military runs on Duncan? Of course. How? Uh, why else do they have that slogan? Hi, Blank. I know you're busy with teaching and your family, but I'm wondering if you'd have any interest in hearing about my business. I have to ask. I'm committed to sharing it with others, especially my fellow mommies, and I know that busy people are successful people. Is there any chance you'd be open to chatting about it to see if it might be a good fit for you? <gasps> I win! You will? No, I win! <laughs> what do you win? When you added me as a friend, my husband and I made a bet of how long it would be before you try to push your multi-level marketing on me in a private message. He bet one to five, and I bet six to ten. Since you brought it up on the sixth message, I'm the winner! No MLM seller friend has ever waited longer than ten messages to bring up their amazing business, but be proud of yourself that you at least pretended to be my friend for a few messages before bringing it up. Yay for you! Truly appalled. Picking up my new passport today. My old one expires in the next couple of months. Huh, see below. Spot the difference. No longer says European Union on it. Good to know. I need to renew and can't wait to get that cancerous title off my passport. No, I'm afraid your name still needs to be on there. You all know that Derek Chevrolet did not get a fair trial. He got a fairer trial than George Floyd. Go eat an alien's pee-pee, please, and thank you. You don't bash people who are trying to give you advice, you 
freaking poop head. Hey, stop trying to charm me. <laughs> it won't work, okay? Okay, maybe a little. Are you a real person or a bot? Ah, uh, how sweet. Does your wife know you hit on minors over Twitter? Does the psych ward know you smuggled in a mobile phone? Oh, I wish I had a boyfriend who liked the same music as me. You have a great taste in music. <laughs> Don't you like Tame Impala? Oh, so much. I've seen him live twice. Oh, see, this is what I mean. I need a you. Who isn't you? I swear, girls who do this have to be aware of what they're saying. They, they cannot be that ignorant. This is the wrapping. The present is inside. Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Meanwhile, a PTSD sufferer. I have a very bad feeling about this. Amazed this toad hasn't politicized this somehow. Amazed he is even tweeting something that isn't political. Amazing how the absence of your triggers still triggers you. Glad they found the time to pose for photos. Only posing I see going on is you posing as a complete twat. I went for a walk down a country lane in the sunshine today. A couple walked past me in masks and literally swerved into a hedgerow to show how they were socially distancing. The whole thing is like a dystopian comedy sketch now. Or they saw a guy not wearing a mask coming too close to them and thought, frick that stuff, and moved away from the selfish twat. Or here's a long shot, alternatively they just recognized you. When girls go out wearing tiny, tight, skimpy outfits, I mean they have the choice to wear something else. Something less provocative, so really girls are asking for it. If you're out in public and I see you're not wearing any protective headgear, does that give me the right to smash in your skull with a hammer? I mean, you asked for it, <laughs> since you're not wearing something to protect your head. In my book, in this chapter and this page, it's written, Track racing doesn't require much physicality, so therefore, it doesn't count as a real sport. Hey buddy, just because you quoted your own self from your own book doesn't make your tweet any more legit than it lacks. Hey, your fat butt in a drive through at McDonald's isn't the same as driving 350 kilometers per hour. Oh, anxiety provoking. Two hours scrolling for the actual recipe. Oh my goodness, thanks for the laugh. Two hours, wow. You must have the slowest internet connection in the history of the internet. I'm so sorry. That must be terribly frustrating. I just checked and I had to scroll three whole times to get to the recipe. Oh, but in addition to that, there's a nifty jump to recipe link at the top of the page. Oh, <laughs> So feel free to utilize that the next time you're on a free recipe site. How likely are you to recommend Xfinity from Comcast to friends and family? Zero. <laughs> Why? You charged me 140 bucks for early termination despite my military orders to move. This violates the Service Member's Civil Relief Act of 2003. You still have not refunded it. If you're an adult whose rent is less than $4,000 a month, you're still a child. Ooh. Imagine being an adult paying 4,000 rent and not a mortgage. So that's why she's got the flag there. She's trying to warn us. Look, at least she's self-aware about it. CNN's Don Lemon. Justice has been served. Obviously in relation to a certain police officer, I assume. Hey, look, it's that guy who was offended to learn that one time that women's JJs are meant to actually get wet when they're aroused because he watched the music video about it and he doesn't understand it. And we all know he would never have said this had the reverse verdict been reached. Hello, Ben. I'm a nose. That's because, Ben. If it was the reverse verdict, justice wouldn't have been served. Amazing observation there. Saying, no thank you, I got it. To the middle-aged white man on the airplane who offered and began to take my suitcase out of the overhead compartment for me <laughs> was a quickly calculated act of resistance. Years ago, when men would offer to help me, open doors, etc., I'd smile and say thank you. These days, when it happens, I smile more, say thank you loudly, because I know that at some point, these good men have had to put up with the likes of simpletons like you. Here's Dr. Naomi Wolf with Dr. John Sims. Hmm, if a vaccine is effective, then why do you need to pressure people to take it? But oh, whoops. Daisy, she's a little bit caught out there for being someone who likes to watch Mr. Johnny Sins content. Anti-vaxxer Amy Wolf tweeted fake doctor's quote from porn star Johnny Sins. Well, I'm pretty sure they have the same medical qualifications. Both pretend to be doctors just to end up freaking people over. If an illegal immigrant who doesn't speak English can travel 2,000 miles on foot with barely any food or water, with no money, can walk across the border and just steal your job tomorrow, hmm, 
you should be spending less time on Twitter and more time developing a skill. Obviously, I'm sure there's a lot of factors to take into account. But let's be honest, if this is actually such a thing that's happening so much to people, then yeah, your job was either going to be taken by someone who'd be doing it for cheaper or robots. I mean, eh. Facebook is a perfect example of so those. I see him. him. You get it for free. You have no say in how it works. The guy who runs it is rich. rich. You have no privacy. And if you say one thing they don't like, they, they shut, shut you up. up. Literally everything mentioned in this post is happening now, and it's overseen by capitalism. The Statue of Liberty was actually planned to be a black woman, but the idea was scrapped because so many people were against the idea of a black woman as a symbol of liberty. People were just being racist. Hey, uh, this has been debunked numerous times. Mm, fact checked. Inspiration behind the original Statue of Liberty design, Reuters, July 10th, 2020. The full text of the post reads, the original statue was a black woman given to us by France to pay home homage to the slaves that were brought here by force. Mm, from that same Reuters article, let's just make note of that there. Social media users are circulating posts which claim that New York's Statue of Liberty was originally modeled after an enslaved black woman. This primary claim is false. The original model of the statue was inspired by the figure of a female Arab peasant, enlarged to colossal proportions. You damn right, Statue of Liberty's dummy thick. In the brain f of knowledge. Thick brains, uh, she's smart. Oh, yeah, yeah, saved it. Another useless piece of tat. Why are people into this kind of thing? Same reason your husband said, I do. People are into different things, even if others think, mm, that's a bit tatty. The corporate media and the woke mob don't want you to read this book. They tried to cancel it. They failed. One week until publication. Order here. And the, the, the work big tech companies don't want you to read this. Anyway, here's the Amazon link that I'm posting to Twitter. Imagine when Tesla cars are integrated with Hyperloop tech. Mind blowing. Imagine driving out of your parking spot in LA and being in New York two hours later parking your car. You live in a country that can't keep bridges from collapsing or highways from having potholes. Oh, but yes, it will definitely maintain a magical tube with a hard vacuum spanning a continent so you can drive your Elon car at two times the speed of sound through Des Moines. At this point, I trust Joe Rogan over Bill Gates. You probably trust Josh Duggar over Anthony Fauci. Yeah, okay, was this your biggest thought process for the week? There is no way to provide solutions to our current issues and still remain politically correct. These days you will have to hurt some feelings and offend some minds in order to solve a crisis. Chad's right. Time to stop worrying about hurt feelings. So, let me start. Anyone who owns more than two guns is a freaking psycho and should be registered on a police watch list. Hashtag Texas. When Lamborghini said, We don't do commercials because our target audience isn't sitting around watching TV. That hit me like a ton of bricks. Yes, hit me too a few years back. I stopped wasting time watching TV. Wow. So do you own a Lamborghini now, ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Say it with me, kids. Well done, not oppressive. It's your choice to be offended by them and give them power. Stop being a boozy. Oh, let's listen to the guy pretending to be Waluigi on the internet. They seem to clearly be rational and smart, much like I know Waluigi to be. Yeah, me having a Waluigi themed account clearly negates my ability to have a freaking valid opinion. Okay. Jesus, did I turn him Spanish? Toto Dial, you swagger. Toto Dial. You shouldn't have let his words have the power to upset you, Waluigi. I don't get the point of these marches and rallies on either side. We don't need to scream in the streets. We march to work, home to our families, and we march into the voting booth. The rest of this stuff is just attention-seeking foolishness. I would really like to know how you, a woman, think you got the right to work and vote. The side saying, if you don't like Satan shoes, don't buy them, is the same side that boycotts Chick-fil-A for being Christian. Just don't eat there. Y yeah, that's literally what a boycott is. But please join us next week on Explaining Words to Kevin Sorbo. Hey you, you made it to the end. Nice job. You should like this video to show your love. And hey, make sure you're subscribed as well as always. Because end of the video, we ask for that thing. You know, it's, you, you had some fun. Let, let us know. Show some appreciation. This ego ain't gonna pump itself. <laughs> no, but seriously, I hope you had a good time. Uh, my name is Jack, of course. And if you'd like to see more videos, you're welcome to say hi to Robin and Lexi on the channel as well. I always appreciate your comments and people saying hello. So until next time, you have a lovely time whatever you're doing or were trying to do but got distracted by this video <laughs> uh that's yeah that's a relatable thing so bye